Hi, I'm John Espino, here with the young folks today on the red carpet for the much-anticipated sequel, Super Troopers 2. How often do fans come up to you and yell, fair for <laughs> I get that, and I also get uh, bottles of maple syrup, you know, coming towards me like a wild west, like a gunslinger. People want to chug maple syrup a lot. By the way, my mom calls that what you said, uh, making out with the bear. Making out, uh, making out with the bear. Yeah, making out with the bear is what my mom referred that to. Do we get to see any more bear makeout, or maybe? Well, we have a live bear in the new one. You got to check it out. Really? Yeah, it's a live bear. So take the next level. They said yes though before, right? If that, if there's bear magic, so depends on what happens this weekend. We will go see it. We had a, a bear magic scene, but it was, it, we, it was too difficult to actually shoot the live bear. We had something that we tried, but uh, ultimately we ended up with what we have in this movie. So are there any plans for a sequel, maybe to something like Beer Fest? Well, yeah, we're hoping this weekend that people will come to the theater and that they'll open some opportunities for us. So, you know, if we can get a box office this weekend, you know, and, uh, we we'll we'll just new things, some other things, like including that. Chicago. So in the first film, uh, what we had live bear, pretty which much is a ton of fun. always fun acting with on Rambo, screen. True. Which was like, you know, so a hero growing up from Cinderella's Fire, young blood, um, class, that kind of probably, stuff. So the acting really brought. I think Favre spun off the rails a little in this movie. He's a little crazier. But you Lime don't bear, see the, rabbit, the same, uh, you know, you know flesh like of Farber that you saw in the first one. I mean, oh, so we don't find out it's he's freeze. actually a big softie after all? No, no, he's definitely not a big softie. He's actually insane. <laughs> so that's okay. Clinically, <laughs> clinically insane. So how long have you been yeah, working on the sequel? Yeah. We've been at it for uh, a bunch of years, actually. We, uh, we started our crowdfunding campaign in 2015, so that's when it really started kicking in, you know. But, uh... That's We've been writing it on and off for years now. Yeah. So is the writing process easier yeah, or harder, harder for yeah. 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 Uh, It's definitely harder, but we've gotten it down to a good system now where uh, we can get into big fights with each other and then the next day come back to work again, you know? But it's... We've, we've figured out how to do it. It's hard, but we figured out how to do it. So how often do people come up to you and quote the film? Appreciate uh, it. Kind of, at this point now, I feel like all I hear when I go out in public is meow instead of the word now. Like, I just assume now that when anybody's talking to me, they're saying meow instead of now. Yeah, people, I get, you boys like Mexico screamed at me from passing vehicles every single day. So what's the hardest part about coming back 16 years later? Uh, I think the hardest part was that it took 16 years. I know, actually. Yeah, I mean, for us, this is what we do. It's, we love these characters, we love the movie. Yeah, so for us, it was a pleasure to jump back into it. I mean, we just would have liked to have done it sooner. So are there any good stories about things that happened on set? Besides your own character, you know? I mean, you know, it's, uh, we had a great time. We a lot of scenes. We have a sequence where we play uh, rock and roll stars. So there's, you know, we've got groupies all around. He's being shy. His favorite part was making out with Ephraim with Farva. There's a Mac Farva love scene. He was talking about it for weeks. He kept coming to me. He's like, do I look good? Do I look good? Is my muscle? Good. What do you think it's going to be like to just Farva? And I was like, just tell me, buddy, just do it. And I'll tell you this. We know we're doing more. Making out with Farva, like, you don't change Farva. Farva changes you. At least you're giving the audience what they want. Exactly. People have been clamoring. But it feels like I, I got released from prison. You know, I'm slightly different. Maybe there's a little PTSD. <laughs> but you kind of liked it at the end. Well, I mean, it left an impression as I do in my, in my brain. <laughs> and in your mouth, right? Yeah. yeah, so he's like, so Kevin, when he plays Rod Farva, he's so method that what he does is he chews the same piece of gum all day long. He starts at 6 a.m., chews it for six hours up until lunch, takes the gum out, puts it on the table, eats his lunch, puts the gum back in. Goes another so basically just put it behind his ear. That would be the only... I bet every now and then he puts it under a fold. <laughs> of his stomach. So, his hot dog so did it end up in your mouth after the scene? In one of the takes, he pushed it into my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that would change me too. <laughs> so, 16 years later, Super Troopers still has a massive following. Did you expect it to go become a cult classic? No, we were just surprised anybody saw it. I mean, we were surprised we even got into Sundance. We were just trying to make a movie, you know, and, and it took off. It took off like a very very slow rocket, but it, but it really took off. So what was the hardest part about making the follow-up? 
Well, the most well, I think the hardest part was to, we had to make sure that the movie could stand next to the first one. So we wrote 37 drafts, we wrote thousands of jokes, and I told all these guys, you know, we got to weigh the same so that people don't look at us and go, oh, they look, they're going to say we look older, but not fatter and older, you know, so that's the kind of the... So you got to keep it still sexier. Absolutely. Lots of shirtless. So what should expand expect in this new sequel? I think what they're going to get is another one, right? It's not some big sequel thing. It's just another story. It paints some references to the first one in it. But, you know, we're, I think we're better filmmakers and better joke tellers. Hey, it's Kevin Heffernan. Super Troopers 2, 420 in theaters near you. Go see it.